Hello again. This is Adelaide with our next quick review. This time, we're going to show you actions and triggers. Let's start with basic actions. Actions are elements the GM can set up for their players within Scene Grinders maps. Players can activate or trigger these actions based on programmable interactions or proximity triggers, like turning on lights or opening doors and windows. GMs can even trigger traps based on a character model's proximity to it. Actions can be as simple as activating an object or even more complex by tying them to other objects in a scene, like this lever and gate. By clicking the lever, the action activates opening and closing the gate. You'll also notice that the lever itself is animated. Action and triggers are set up in the scene directly. Let's switch over to edit scene mode and have a quick look. With the Model Placement tab selected, simply right-click the object you want to place an action on. You'll notice two new options in the flyout menu. The first, which looks like a lightning bolt, accesses the Actions and Triggers programming window. Actions are created with Python snippets, which are easy to create. Basic actions for Turn On and Turn Off and Open and Close are pre-programmed for you. You can select them in the menu on the left, or you can create your own more interactive actions and triggers, like the one you see in the window here. Dive into the current live build, where the new tables are ready for you to explore. Begin your adventure now and experience Scene Grinder. More gaming, less work.